61-year-old Sarah Hadaway and her 67-year-old husband James no longer fear getting on the scale. And you weigh the same. This is what the Hadaways looked like a year and a half ago. At James's urging, the couple decided they needed a lifestyle change. Because I could not do what I wanted to do. If I walked across the yard, I had to go over to the shop and sit down for a little bit. I had no energy. We couldn't sleep well. I couldn't, I don't know. I just couldn't do my normal everyday things that I wanted to. I was having some back issues. Uh, and so I just said, you know, something's got to give. They met Colin and Carney physician assistant Sandy Richardson. Diet and nutrition are important, but I really think exercise. Richardson helped them get on a path to better health. Portion control, eating more fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, and being more active was the prescribed treatment. They controlled their calorie intake. They were conscious. They were both wearing Fitbits or exercise monitors. Um, they were competing with each other on who had the most steps for the day, who had the most activity, and they were watching and, and carefully monitoring what was going in their mouths. One of the biggest things that I've done, I don't drink sodas anymore. I cut sugar nearly completely out of my diet. Now, 18 months later, Sarah has lost 80 pounds, and James, he's lost almost 90 pounds. I'm pleasantly surprised. Many people start out with a, a lofty goal like that, and they don't, they either get discouraged, they lose a few pounds, and then things kind of backfire. But I'm so proud of them because of the diligence and the cooperation that they have demonstrated in, in making this happen. I can walk now without giving out. I can do yard work without having to sit down. I'm probably in the best physical shape I have been in I don't know how many years. And the Hadaways did all of it without the help of any fad diet. They simply followed the advice of Sandy Richardson and healthy nutritional guidelines. For the Coleman Corny Clinic Association, I'm health reporter Chrissy Coyle.